Brittany Garcia uh, pain capital management. It's good to see you. Uh, she's a senior wealth advisor, uh, of course. So what's your view here uh, as we find you at the lows of the day now and we're wondering if we're going to have that bear market bounce, which we did. Maybe mm -hmm. it's over. Yeah, and I don't think we're necessarily at the end of the selling here. Um, it's really what we were talking about last week is I think there's probably still a little bit more pain in the market. There's still a lot of nervousness. Um, I don't think the volatility is quite where we see it when the markets are bottoming. And I think longer term speaking here, and you guys have really touched on this with the show, and I completely agree. I don't really think the economy is necessarily impending a recession. I think the economy is in a lot better shape than the markets would suggest they are right this second. I also think the consumer, after we're seeing what happened with Walmart and Target, there's like a lot of negative sentiment there, but what very well might be happening is just a shift in their behavior as opposed to them really not being able to spend as much. And I don't think we're seeing the end of the consumer spending quite yet. And I think a lot of these things can really lead to continuing improvements in the economy and some positive catalysts are definitely not being priced in here, which could definitely lead to a better second half of this year. Yeah. So are we at the end of this? Uh, I'd love to say so. I don't think so, but I think we're getting closer to a bottom here. Do you, I mean, how does the rest of the year look to you, considering we're literally just coming off of a conversation where we, you know, had someone suggest that you could go up 20 percent. I'm definitely on the on the optimistic side here. I mean, I, I'm not I don't know how 20 percent is going to go from here, but we could easily see a positive year this year. I mean, just take 2020 as a good example. We're down 35 percent in a matter of a couple of weeks. That was a positive year. These things do happen. Markets can turn on a dime. And I just think that's something investors don't want to forget. But the leaders might change here. Like today is a good example. It's always our tech firms that are selling off the most because even if inflation comes down, it is still going to be the headline this year. So I think looking at some of your cyclicals, not being over overweight in some of your mega, tap, mega tech caps, I think it's still going to be really important as the consumer here. Just make sure you have those inflation hedges. So is, is that your the place you really want to be right now? Has it, you know, technology, given how how significant the sell off in those stocks has been? No, no, sorry, the opposite, right? So I'm looking at, like, we definitely have energy, we have commodities, things are gonna, that are going to offset inflation. I have your tech. I'm not selling out of it by any means, but I'm definitely not overweighting that category right now. I think that very well could continue to underperform. In the short term, I think we could see a bounce. I mean, it's had such a sell-off here. But longer term, I'm just not overweighting that right now because that is one of your longer duration assets that will continue to get, um, not be rewarded as rates mm. are rising. What's your top sector right now? Um, I'm definitely still looking at whether it's energy, commodities, and definitely looking at value over growth right now. I really think your cyclicals are going to continue to outperform here.